Hello and good day. Welcome to our video channel, God's Promises. And today's video will be a fast concise overview, Book of Ezra, Chapter 9. Let's get started now. The Book of Ezra Chapter 9 tells the story of Ezra's distress upon hearing about the intermarriage between the returning exiles and the people of the land. This chapter emphasizes the importance of obedience to God's laws and the consequences of disobedience as well as the significance of repentance and turning back to God. The chapter begins with Ezra expressing his distress and sadness over the fact that the returning exiles have intermarried with the people of the land, contrary to God's commandment. He tears his clothes and hair as a sign of mourning and goes before the temple to pray. Ezra's prayer in this chapter is significant, as it demonstrates his humility and his understanding of God's righteousness. He acknowledges that the people have sinned and that they deserve the punishment that has come upon them. He also acknowledges that God is just and righteous in all his actions, including the punishment that has come upon them. Ezra then confesses the sins of the people, acknowledging that they have been unfaithful to God by intermarrying with the people of the land, contrary to his commandments. He asks God for mercy and forgiveness acknowledging that they have no right to ask for it but that God is merciful and forgiving. The chapter ends with Ezra's call to repentance and the people's response. He commands the people to separate themselves from the people of the land and to confess their sins and turn back to God. The people respond by acknowledging their guilt and agreeing to do as Ezra has commanded. The teaching application of Ezra chapter 9 is significant. It emphasizes the importance of obedience to God's laws and the consequences of disobedience. It shows the danger of compromise and how it can lead to sin and the punishment that follows. It also emphasizes the significance of repentance and turning back to God, acknowledging our sins and asking for His mercy and forgiveness. In our own lives we must be careful not to compromise our faith and obedience to God's laws. We must be aware of the dangers of sin and the consequences that follow. However, if we do sin, we can turn back to God, confess our sins, and ask for His mercy and forgiveness. We must also acknowledge that God is just and righteous in all His actions, and that we have no right to demand anything from Him. Ezra's prayer in this chapter is a great example of humility and dependence on God. We should follow His example in our own prayer life acknowledging our sins and seeking God's mercy and forgiveness. Finally, we must be willing to obey God's commands, even if they seem difficult or unpopular, and trust that He will always be with us and guide us in the right path. Thank you for visiting us today. Please share with us your favorite Bible chapter below in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help our channel grow. Looking forward to see you back here for our next video. Always take good care.